Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is your girl Tiffiani. Now, today, we're just going to be talking about what's word on the block, word on the street. Are you ready for the tea? Or are you ready for the tea? Respect Nini. She's you know this gorgeous girl, this and that, grinding, housewife of Atlanta, hustler. I guess I guess she was the first, right? Anyway. But I heard she is suing Bravo. Yes, man. Yo, listen, Nini Leaks is not playing. She is suing Bravo. She is suing what Andy Cohen and so forth. It's it yeah. Psh, she's leaking this racism lawsuit you know so we I, i'm just here to give you the tea all right so this is this is what's confusing me because i know there's like you know photos going around that you know kim and nini went out for like some margaritas so i'm just confused of, of, of the intensity of like what's going on you know they were getting um drinks at chili's right why is she doing this She's taking the show's producer to court. That's what's the confusing part. Poor NBC Universal. Whew. So there were like the racism and hostility at the workplace. So that's what she's suing them for. R racial offenses. And she claimed that she wasn't allowed to talk about Black Lives Matter. So I'm just here to give you the tea. Legal proceedings has been filed. And then Nini Leaks claimed that she have suffered a financial consequence after she shared her complaints about the co-star Kim. And is it Radar Online also saying the same thing? Hmm. And then you know, Bravo is gonna like hit back. And now, as I quote, among other things, Bravo executive raised concerns about Mistress Leaks social media that is her response to the perceived racially offensive attack by zoliac berman that's how you say the name and her daughter and about the media reports of a tax lien that mistress leaks had received Ooh. so basically the work environment was toxic and racist and she just wanted to bring it attention to what's going on so i'll just i'm just here to give you the tea and i'll keep you posted on that i think kim called nini's house like a roach nest and stuff yes <laughs> words was exchanged have you guys been watching real housewife atlanta yeah she was there for like seven seasons right <laughs> i think right and then you remember like how she kim was talking about how nini used drugs and then you remember how she was talking about candy her house is the ghetto so it's like a lot of stuff and when they have arguments and stuff um kim would use like the n-word and so forth so word is getting out on the way how she's conducting herself but that's just the word in the block word in the street <laughs>
Nini will win this case because I want to know. Because she's going real hard on this situation. But we just got to stay back and watch. Because from the way how I'm seeing everything, it's kind of crazy. And then people are going after her and saying all of a sudden that, you know, since she left Housewife, now she want to sue them. She wasn't trying to sue them before. But because they didn't work out, you know, the real Housewife in Atlanta, now she want to sue. Huh? And did that show made her? That's what they're saying. That show made her and now she's suing. So, but damn. That's crazy. So everybody's just like, you know, going off on like Nini. You know, that's the word in the street. They don't like how she's conducting herself. I mean, she's accusing, you know, Kim of being this way with her, right? But yet she's hanging out with her. Yet she's doing live with her and so forth. And it, it's just looking confusing and messy. Like, pick a side. And because she's not getting her way with the Bravo and, and situation, she's just, I guess she's just coming for straws. It's like, she's just going after every everything, you know? Still trying to, like, be friends with the people that she's trying to sue. So it's like, pick a side. It's very confusing. And now it's like, it's kind of backfiring on her because, you know, these, these people made her millions and so forth. And now she's going after them. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Don't forget to hit that bell. <laughs> Leave a comment. And yeah, guys, share. Again, thank you guys for watching. This is your girl, Tufiani. Bye-bye <laughs> <Bye -bye> now. <laughs>